Hi. Well, we are getting ready for the trip to Miami, Florida, going to the Miami Jewish Home and Hospital for me to have the Brucker biofeedback procedure. And I just wanted you to see, if you can see my arms here, you can see the inaccessibility of our stove. I can reach the refrigerator, uh, but let's look over here and we'll look at how messy everything is. You see, not able to wash the dishes or get to the sink. And the dishwasher is here, but I can get around. I cannot move because of the tiles on the floor. And I can get around because we have hardwood floors here in the dining area. And uh, I just wanted you to see a little bit of the kitchen. And it's accessible in here because, you know, we don't have carpet. At our old house, we had carpet. So my husband took it up and then he put down the tiling, but it wasn't hardwood flooring like this. We're about to go to uh, a store and buy some luggage because we don't really have a big enough luggage. I'm not really sure what to pack or how to do this. Never packed for someone for somewhere for three weeks. And um, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, so we're about to go. Um, down the ramp and into the van. I know I made a driving video before, but I just wanted you all to see a little bit more of what it's like for Malik. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this is us preparing to go out of the house because we don't have a wheelchair. We have a wheelchair ramp on the house but um, my ramp is really steep. Okay, open the door. And so now I can which I don't know if we'll be able to film, but we just wanted you to see. Having good use of my hands, I need help getting down because this ramp is steep. I need to get down to the bottom. So, okay, we hope you can see this. Um, this is us going down the ramp. Again, I was outside, but uh, I had to come back in and put a coat on because it is cold. I saw the sun shining and thought, oh, I can go out with a heavy sweater. Yeah, no, not enough. So this is us leaving again. And now it's helping me down the ramp. So I don't know how this is going to look. But here we go. We're going down our ramp, which is very steep, as I stated earlier. Ugh. And we have ice on snow on it, which isn't the best when you're trying to leave. And uh, here's another very steep part that Malik is going to get me down. Unfortunately, when the guy built it, well, he did the best he could, and uh, who knew what would work. Okay. Ow, that's my arm. And this is us getting into the van. That's me turning off the radio. Hope you can see that. And this is us getting into the van. Alrighty. Oh. And this is Malik coming in to take the camera. I know I'm not the best camera person. Malik is so much better than me. However, 
in Miami right now. It is 87 degrees. Man, I'm looking forward to that. Um, turn signal. What? Alec, what are you showing what? me? I see a Priscilla sign on my best friend's lawn. Okay. Anyway, Mal can tell me that one of his friends is not watching. He's going to tell me that right now while we're making this video. But anyway, so anyway, it's 87 degrees in Miami. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, trying to figure out how to pack to stay warm while we're still here in Ohio, but yet not, you know, not breathe. I mean, not burn up while we're down in Miami. Yeah, that's our heat. So, we're going to, we got a couple places we have to go today. We have to go to the post office, and we have to go get something to eat, because I don't cook. Not that I don't have the knowledge of how to cook. Just can't physically do it as you saw, saw because of our stove. I'm not rich so, way out. My husband does the cooking. He's married. Alec is learning to have a family. It's so odd that I would be married and my husband does all of the things that I thought that I would be doing. And I do contribute because I do homeschool and I do run errands and, you know, I do what I'm able to do. And I'm just grateful, which is why I have, grateful that I have this channel, because I'm grateful that I have a husband that loves me and doesn't complain about the thing that I'm not able to do. Man, you know, that should get love when they that you have to reverse the roles. Maybe you have to be the one going to work and making the money to pay the bills. Maybe he has to stay home with the kids because maybe he has a disability. You just don't know. And uh, when we first got married, I could do a whole lot more than what I can do now. And that's because um, in 2001, they found a system on my spine that I would become ventilator dependent. I wouldn't be able to breathe on my own. My husband didn't leave me or divorce me, which I'm grateful for. tell you that that could be the case. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna stop up here soon. And I don't want this video to be super long, but uh, I just wanted to share a little bit more with you about us getting around, how we do things, and just how different it's going to be when I start walking. Okay, alright, the next segment will be us at the store picking out the luggage. Bye-bye for now.